motivated to reach the sky. Oh, I not gonna let my dreams die. You know. I Hello beautiful people, I'm Katherine Gomez and welcome to The Creative Buzz, where we showcase the amazing talent of young Bahamian creatives, from their short films to music videos and so much more. We showcase it all here on The Creative Buzz. As the holidays are drawing near, this Christmas won't look like usual because of the COVID-19 pandemic, which has totally changed the way we live our lives. Just because this Christmas will look a lot different doesn't mean it still can't be enjoyable. So here's a few fun things you can add to your Christmas agenda. Many people are hurting during these unprecedented times. Families are going to bed hungry and are hurting emotionally and mentally. This Christmas, pick a family or person in need and spread some Christmas joy to them by helping them financially, giving them a present, or just giving them a call. By doing an act of kindness, you can bring joy and happiness to someone's life. Every picture tells a story, and your photo shoot can symbolize how despite the pandemic, you made the most of life. Doing photo shoots with your loved ones is super fun and makes great memories. Shout out to my fellow creatives, Unseen Media, for taking some amazing pictures of me and my girlfriends that we will cherish forever. I know we all love our usual family gatherings with delicious food, bubbly drinks, and just loads of family fun. But due to social distancing, we can't conduct those gatherings this year. Try hosting a virtual Christmas party where you can be safe but also have loads of fun. Send all your family members a Zoom link and host your party online. Make sure you've got a few games and conversation starters and let the fun begin. Shout out to all my fellow singers out there. I know a lot of us are disappointed we can't share our pipes this Christmas time caroling through the streets, but at the same time, the show still must go on. Try doing a virtual Christmas caroling concert. Send out a Zoom link and get your musically gifted friends to sing some holiday favorites. Christmas is a time full of joy and cheer, but most importantly, it's a time when we celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Though we can't have our big parties this year, we still have to remember the reason for the season. Next up, let's tune into Ransford James, whose YouTube channel is entitled Foreign Man in a Foreign Land. On his channel, he creates awesome videos about being a Bahamian, dealing with adversity, and other popular topics. Here's his video on how we can stay fit and trim during the holidays. Big sexy, listen ma, I know. You waiting on minutes to open up barn so you can finally bust the wickedest wine and take Lakira Man. Not because you actually want Lakira Man, but you want to show Lakira that you could take a man. I understand, but I understand. But what you don't understand is that you ain't taking nothing but the Jitney 11A back to Elizabeth Estate after the club lights turn on and everybody can see your belly draping over your front like a cabana over in Atlantis. You see, baby girl, listen. Fox don't have no feelings. And the fact of the matter is, you ain't recovered from Thanksgiving dinner yet. But you posting memes up on IG talking about Christmas dinner, then you got Boxing Day breakfast. And let's be real, you know you about to end up right outside Imperial's New Year's Eve at two o'clock in the morning talking about you want chicken snack. You about to miss out on a hot gal summer again because you know you done miss out on 2020 hot gal summer and all the bad gals were stuck inside and the only thing that was seeing they bad gal outfits was the close friend stories on IG. Unless you watch and listen very carefully till the end of this video because we breaking down how to stay or in some cases get sexy this Caribbean Christmas. My name is Ransford James and I connect the Caribbean through commentary. So come link up with your fellow foreigners every Thursday at 8 a.m. GMT.
we're about to get into a simple but very effective guide into how not to look like Santa Claus by the end of this Christmas season. But first, we gotta establish some context. Now, big man and big woman, this is a topic that I'm not very proud to elaborate on. But bear with me. According to the CIA fact book, the Bahamas is the 21st most obese country in the world. Not in the Caribbean, in the world. We only got about 400,000 people. Yet we up there with the oceanic countries, who by the way, comprise about 10, the top 10 of this most obese countries in the world. So Australia, you and the Kiwis, you all gotta figure out what's going on. You all need to fix yourselves up. But I need to tell you that obesity is the root cause of some of the most fatal diseases in the world. So in short, if you're fat, you get dead earlier than you're supposed to die. But before you go follow one fit thick model on IG and like all their reels and posts and things, but don't follow the workouts, let me let you in on a little secret. These models up on IG, half of what they doing ain't doing nothing. And the ones that actually doing something, it don't work for us in the Caribbean. Sure, the standard American diet have its own issues and it already mashed up half of the Western countries that adopted it. But the problem is the Caribbean adopted it and made it worse. For example, we just eat peas and rice with everything. Like I swear, if I order ice cream right now, they'd slap a side of peas and rice. Our reality is different than most of the people that we see on IG and everything like that. So that means that we need different solutions. And this is coming from someone that has struggled with weight maintenance for the majority of my life. You see, these fitness experts, they trying to sell you products and programs. I just trying to tell you what worked for me as an athlete, as a Caribbean man, but most importantly, as someone who loves food. But, but alas, I want you to do something for me. Go to your fridge right now, get your favorite leaded beverage, and pour it out, the whole thing in honor and commemoration of your pre-quarantine body. And if you ain't had nobody before that, then okay, just pour it out. In fact, while you at that, go inside your fridge and pour out all the Goombe punch and the Smirnoff ice, because that's really our first tip of surviving a Caribbean Christmas. Creating a body bunker. And let me tell you what I mean by that. You see, if you anything like me, you have no self-control. And moderation is a myth. If it dare, it getting eat. So fill your fridge up with protein and fiber. You see, if you have healthy foods in your house, when those cravings hit, as they inevitably will, you have those options to choose from instead of Doritos and the Benny cake and rum cake that you have inside the fridge. You see, and if you don't want them and you actually want something that's bad for you, you have to go all the way out of your house to the Texaco around the corner and then go and buy that there. So you're making it inconvenient for you. Secondly, we have a unique opportunity this Caribbean Christmas. You could actually opt out a family dinner. That's unheard of. No annoying questions from your auntie who can't seem to get her life straight, yet she won't dictate how to live your life. No more drunk uncles marching the roach at 11 p.m., but you can't leave because he arrived. But most importantly, no Caribbean Christmas dinner that has put you to sleep 10 minutes after you eat it. This time, you could say that you quarantine it, which you should be anyway, because you know, this is COVID-19 then. But the fact of the matter is, this Caribbean Christmas, you don't have to put yourself in the desert a temptation for the devil to tempt you with soda when you live in an oasis. But that's, that's a really good line. Next on the agenda, and if you a long time foreigner and you've been rocking with me for a while, you should know what this is about to be. Time restricted eating or fasting, whichever you want to call it. Since I land on the rock, I've been hitting some of the most outrageous fasts that I have in recent memory because I know the adversity that awaits me. Long story short, you can't eat everything that you would normally eat if you eat it in a short amount of time. And if you thought that snacking all day was the way to lose weight, big man, I got some literature for you to read because I hear all the myths before like the most important meal of the day is breakfast. And if you want cut weight, you need to actually eat a bunch of small meals. But I can let you know something right now, soldier. That's a myth. If you always eating, then your gut always trying to break down food. You need to give it a rest, big man. Give your gut a break by fasting for a bit. Trust me, you're in the stuff. Or like I said before, like when most people say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, 
and this is a hot take, this could be controversial, but lies, big lies. The reason why breakfast start in the first place is because of our wheat surplus. So fellas is trying to figure out, boy, what we can do with all this bread? That's why you barely see any meat at breakfast time. It's a bunch of carbs and sugar. So skip brekkie and have a late lunch. But for this season in particular, I want to challenge you to fast five days a week. And then you got a two day weekend break. Do that and you ain't gotta do nothing too crazy. You could do like a 16, eight. 16 fast, eight hour eating window. That's all you need. Do that for the remainder of 2020. You could finish off the year strong. Now my next step could require some traveling and you coming with me. So let's ride. that aren't able to afford the monthly membership or drop in days at the gym, these are a few workouts that you can do home. Now, everybody loves, loves lower body workouts. So these are a few squat workouts and lower body workouts that can pretty much help you get that little extra oomph in the trunk that you want. So I'll start you off with just regular squats. So when you start in your squat position, you want to make sure that your toes are pointing forward. You don't want to lean over the knees. You want to sit back almost like you're sitting on a toilet. You know, so you sit down and you want to get down and up. And you probably do it about, let's say 10 times, three sets of 10. Then you want to move into stationary lunges. Same thing applies. You want to always have your toes pointing forwards and not leaning over the knees or else by, in about a few weeks, you'll have horrible knees and horrible pain and don't know where it's coming from or why you have it in the first place. Then secondly, you want to get into uh, walking lunges. head into walking squats. You take two steps, get in the squat position. Same thing applies. Toes pointing forward, not leaning over your knees. Body's going up and down in the squat position. You're sitting back on it. Then you walk into your wave squats. You take three, two to three jumps in place, get into your squat position. Always remember, technique is better than quantity. Now let's turn it over to Bahamian YouTuber Krista Janelle. Krista creates videos on faith, finding your purpose, gives hair tips, and so much more. In her video, she will give us an encouraging word on how we should let God take the wheel on the road trip of life. Let God validate your dreams and the process of achieving them. So often we get so excited when God begins to reveal to us what we are to be. And when things begin to get difficult and challenging, we begin to get disheartened, depressed, saddened, and unmotivated. And it is those moments, and even before we even get to that point, that we should be seeking the Lord daily because He is our strength. He concentrates us on what we are to do and what we're supposed to be doing with our lives and with our time because it's so easy to get distracted and discouraged by life, by persons doing the same thing, by persons winning in life. And you have to be able to find a place of solidarity find a place of peace, find a place of secrecy and being away from all of the noise in order to focus on what it is God wants you to do. Because what ends up happening whenever we focus too much on what's around us is we begin to compare. We begin to model ourselves behind someone else and that's not what God wants us to do. He made us unique and original for a purpose. You won't always have it easy but God guaranteed that he will take us through it and to it. You can guarantee that whatever your promised land looks like, whatever your blessings and your breakthrough looks like, God is going to help you achieve them. But you got to stay focused. You got to let him affirm you. You got to let him encourage you because persons in the world can't do that for you. They cannot take the place of our master. You have to get in your secret place. Let him refill you. If you're empty, if you're looking for encouragement, if you're looking for help, if you're looking for excitement again, allow God to penetrate your life. He can refurbish you. He can regenerate you so that you feel excited and passionate about what he has called you to do. I hope this word just meets you wherever you are in the world and wherever you are in your walk with God. God bless you guys. Take care. 
Christians in Action is a group of young Christians who strive to ensure God's love is seen throughout the Bahamas. In today's episode, they will talk about being intentional in times of uncertainty. A lesson that I learned from being quarantined is that God is truly in control and I didn't understand the significance of that statement until I was placed in a situation where I literally had no control and I actually had to put all of my trust in him because in times of uncertainty and I didn't know what was going to happen, I couldn't rely on myself, I couldn't rely on my own understanding. I had to rely on him. So therefore, you know, God is always in control. He controls everything. And we should all just give it all to him because only he knows what's going to happen because he goes before us. Hey guys, a big theme that I've seen throughout this whole pandemic is uncertainty. And what uncertainty has taught me is that life is so short. I've seen so many people just get COVID-19 out of the blue and some of them haven't even made it. And I've seen so many people talk about how family members have just passed away from this dreaded disease. And it just reminded me that life is so short. You literally don't know when it's your time. And you know, many young people tend to think that they have their whole life ahead of them. But the truth is we don't know, you know, when our day is. My day, God forbid, could be tomorrow. And that just reminds me and puts things in perspective to remind me that you know every day i need to be striving to be you know holy and pleasing to god at the end of the day so my encouragement is just to continue on keep pushing stay encouraged really try to live your life for god and realize that you know tomorrow is not promised it's one thing i learned during the quarantine lockdown period it was to be intentional to and the way I did that was I'd wake up in the morning, say a short prayer, and go straight into my Bible app to get the word and the devotional for the day. And if I needed a little bit more reassurance, I'd go into the word of God, and that's often how he spoke to me. And that got me through a lot of low tides, honestly. And when you think about it, God really ain't call us to, to be living in these low tides for so long, you know? And it's natural, and because we are humans, it happens. It happens. It literally does. But in order to get out of that, we have to be intentional. We have to wake up and just inject positivity into our days right off the bat. And once we do that, we could find ourselves escaping the pits of anxiety and depression because God just calls us to a higher standard of living, you know? So that's what I want to encourage you guys with. So don't be intentional then. So when you find a friend in God, a lot of things happens. You have an increased sense of security. You're just a happier person and you have more peace. And those are things, simple things that a lot of us lack. And this quarantine period could put a strain on those things. So be sure to deepen your relationship with God and you'll be surprised of what that small thing does for you. Turn your hobby into a lobby. Take the initiative to start a small project or business that will push you towards your goal so that you can become successful in life. Become accustomed to the new norm so that you will be able to ride this unprecedented snow. Make an effort to adjust and make changes to your own map to start a new journey in your life. Then you can take a nap. Today's comedy piece is by Unorthodox TV, which was created by comedian Das Quake. On this channel, young Bahamians do a range of creative and dynamic pieces that are simply outside the box. Here's their video entitled Bus Stop that showcases the different characters you may meet on the bus. Bus stop. Hey, 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 hey. Sandbag! 
Yeah, 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 Nate. Yeah, just get out. Hey, driver, man, I can't get a bus right down by the stop sign right there. Man, the sun hot, man. I can't uh, walk on this. Away. Right by the stop sign right there, so the sun hot. All right, all right. All right, yes, up, bless up. Bus stop. Hey, Jelly. All right, go, boy. Driver, go that. Hey. Got the first place, hey. I got the letter, like. Yeah. I got that letter, day for you later, man. Wow. Huh? Bus stop. Good afternoon, good afternoon. 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 Good Hey, sit right here. Bus stop. Oh, Jesus. Bus driver, give me one second, okay? I just gotta get a couple more things. Oh. Ah. I got it, I got it, I got it. Bus stop. Bus stop! Sony dollar, it's dollar twenty five to get bus enough. These people, hey, this can't go to Wendy's and get them no four something for no number one combo. You see what you say? Bus stop. Some, somebody wait, culture of man, wake him up. Hey, boy, some of the time you don't go around. She's pretty. Let me go, let me go around one more time, boss. Bus stop. Hi, whatever you listening to, that ain't necessary right now. You need to hear what I have to say. These Bahamian men don't need to be doing that. They have all these children. I mean, I have three children, right? And this is my baby daddy number one. But don't worry about that. All I'm saying is, if I need some diapers or some papas for these children, you think I gotta be riding on this bus stand on the north side? Look at how I look. Bus stop. I got change for 100, right? At 100, I ain't paying no quarter. So you ain't got your VAT license up here. Bus stop. Yo, you don't know no man, is it? Who you all meet on this bus? Bus stop. Hey, bus stop, man. Psst. Bro, bus, bus stop, up. man. Bus stop, because my man ain't got no GS. Bus stop, man. Bus stop, driver. Bus stop, driver. Bus stop, driver. Bus stop, driver. Bro, driver, driver. Bus stop, driver. Bro, jump on the other side. Bus stop, man. Bad, man. Bad, man. Run you over. Bus stop. This is Cartel giving you my new single called Fever. Oh, oh, Hope you yeah. like it. Kick it. XO, XO, my love is very special. If you want it, you can have it. Hey! 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 Bus stop. Bus stop, bus stop. Bus stop. Oh, sorry again, you again? Yeah, Google again. Give me a 
one second, yeah. boss. No, this boss whole tree rides and you ain't even have your money out Give me one second, boss. I'm just trying to um, play the boss. Sorry, I'm sorry, that's you. I have to start over. Shh. Yeah, you can't even have your money out yet. Shh. 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 That's like 98 cents. Bus stop. Hey driver. Your boy, your boy got me right there. Bus stop, boss. This week's music artist is Malia Gabrielle. She began singing and performing at the tender age of four years old and has graced many stages with her warm and sweet vocals. She has also won many awards in the Bahamas and on the international stage. Here's her pop and junkanoo infused song, Island Girl, featuring her mother, international recording artist, Rache Sands. All around the world, you've got lots of awesome No matter where you roam Ain't no girl like an island girl What you gotta say, okay
Thanks so much for tuning in to this week's episode of The Creative Buzz. And if you want to be featured on the next episode, you can message me on my Instagram at Island Imperfection. I want to see the amazing work you've created, so definitely hit me up. Thanks so much for watching again, and I hope to see you next Thursday at 8 p.m. And don't forget, you were created to create. See you next time.